Jay Horowitz here, special edition of Amazing Conversation with my old friend Kevin Mitchell. Kevin, next year is going to be a great day for two of your teammates and our friends retiring uh, um, Docs number 16 and Dow's number 18. Give me your fondest memories of, of, of those teammates from the 86 championship team. Jay, the, the, the best I can put it is just awesome and great teammates, man. And uh, it was an honor uh, as I was coming up as a young kid to play with that type of talent uh, of two guys uh, and two guys that was very close, you know, and uh, and was able to bring me into their into their little clique with them to enjoy the, the, the things that they was doing on the field. What was it like, uh, Kevin, when Dwight pitched? People m- might not remember the K corner and the excitement of the uh, Shea. We, Shea used to rock when Doc pitched. How was it like to play behind him? Uh, it wasn't fun because you didn't get no action. He struck yeah. out everybody, right? He struck out everybody. You know, it was just, he, he didn't even need no uh, no defense out there the way, when he pitched. When he was on, we, we didn't get no action at all out there playing. Did you ever you get know? bored? We did get bored. We got bored. I, I felt that I got bored a lot, especially when Doc was pitching, because it was no fun. How about some of Daryl's home runs and you know his magical swing and the whole bit? What was it like you know playing next to him in the outfield? Uh, I was beautiful, man. Uh, and I still, still, still think he got the beautiful swing I ever seen in the game. I mean, they talk about Griffey's swing, but uh, you know Doc uh, Straw's swing was effortless. You know, and you you never know he was, you know, a lot of people swing at the ball hard, but this guy was just so, he was sweet as duck butter, you know. He's duck butter. Do you have some of that? No. Uh, <laughs> Kevin, you, you told me a story the other, last time we spoke about how, you know, Daryl's an ordained minister now, travels around the country speaking about the evils of drugs. You told me a story. Do you listen to his sermons now when you can? I, I try to all the time. I was, matter of fact, right before you call, I was listening to Tracy. Yeah. His wife. It's, you know, it's really remarkable how he's really turned his life around, for lack of a better word. You know, I mean, he's uh, he's done good. Jay, you know, as, 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 as people, as men, we go through a bunch of stuff, but it's how you're going to come out. And he came out on the on top, you know. And I and I tell you what, I I am proud of him. And like I said, as much as I can, I listen to him as, every time he's on uh, on his Facebook talking about the man upstairs, you know. And he's in a better place. He's in a great place, you know. And you know, it, uh, you know, Doc is doing kind of the same stuff. He's going to high schools and and you know, um, you know, in New Jersey, and his messages. Don't do as I did, you know. I mean, uh, uh, and you know, they're both fighting the battle. You know, I get questioned all the time. Don't you think those two guys should have been in the Hall of Fame? But in, in a way, what you're doing now is kind of more important than the Hall of Fame, don't you think? I think so, I, Jay. You know what? What they're doing now is 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 what legends do. You know, people want to hear your story and how you fought back and how you how you accomplished or what's going on now. You know and and even looking in their faces now is, is, is there's a whole different person there. Yeah. That you yeah. know, they're not even. I, agree. I huh? agree. Yeah, there's a whole different person there, and you see their demeanor, and you can see the way they're they're they they're, they came out of what they was going through a long time ago. Kevin, you alluded to it briefly before. In 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 '86, uh, you were 24 years old, I think. You spent most of '85, all of '85, in in uh, in Tidewater. And in '84, just a couple of games at the Mets. Why do you think the the veteran guys like Keith and Gary and Mookie and Daryl took you under their wing? Because you were you were part of the the inner circle. It's tough to do with a veteran team, a star star team like that. They made you feel in feel belong. Well, you know, like I said, Jay, people read people very well, and they knew I wanted to come here, come to New York, and. Uh, like as they 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 welcome me into their arms, and I was thankful for that. I tell you, I learned a lot playing with the New York Mets, just the players on the team. You know, like Keith, Durrell, you know, Gary Carter. All those guys taught me a lot about preparing myself for the game. But other than that, you were part of the thing. You know, away from the field, they made you part of their inner circle, which is 
really hard for a guy with maybe seven or eight or at bats in the major leagues to come in and really. And we had a star-studded team, you know, with uh, with Darling and and Sid and Wally and everything. So, you know, I know Gary gave one of the greatest nicknames ever, World B Mitch, because he, six positions that year. For me, Kevin, you were always one of the unsung heroes of that team. You p- played everything except pitcher, catcher, and second base. And you moved along wherever Davey wanted you. Jay, I was just, like I said, I was thankful. You know, I think Davey Johnson had a lot to do with that. And I try to thank him as much as I can. I just talked to him the other day. And I I still thank him for even putting me on that team that year. You know, giving me that chance to uh, play with guys like Doc and Straw and and Gary Nebb. So I I tell you, uh, it it was new positions for me. But... Playing around guys like that I played with gave me the the confidence to go out there and play the positions like like they're supposed to be played. You never really had much time at shortstop, right? He no, would, no. I guess, he would stick in the, in his starting shortstop and center field, you know, and and, and stuff like that. So yeah. they had a lot of confidence in you. Um, and 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 I love that nickname, World B Mitch. That was the. Uh, <laughs> did you ever think? Did you ever go to Davey ask him to play all nine positions? You never did that. I I never did that. I don't think I wanted to catch Jay. I'll yeah. tell you that. After catching Doug Sis in the bullpen that one day, and he threw that heavy ball, hey, there's no way in the world I was yeah. going to be. A, uh, I caught when I was a little kid, when I was in little lead and, you know, senior lead and stuff like that. And uh, I don't think I, I, I don't think those guys had too much good stuff. Kevin, first of all, how, how is your health now? Your health is good. I mean, I'm good, Jay. You, I'm good. You had, you had I'm, some I'm back right. problems for a while, and uh... well, it was the neck. I had surgery on both sides. I'm fused on both sides. Right. So I'm had the same thing Hojo had. Right. And despite that, you, you, you know, we had Daryl had his golf tournament to raise money for his ministries, and you know, all the way from California. What fourteen to fifteen guys you wanted to be there for him, right? I mean, I know oh, of course. it wasn't easy in getting in a plane, but you did it just to be there with the guys and for him. Oh, no doubt. You know, he 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 was calling and I was coming. You know, if it was for a good cause, like what he was doing for his his uh, foundation, I mean, that, that's a great cause. You know, to for uh, his recovery program. Yeah, so, I know he and, and, and it, was, both Daryl and Doc go you know, those do good work. You know, I mean, when you were playing with them, Kevin, did you think? Their numbers would be retired at one point. I mean, it was a- of course, of yeah. course, and I'm happy for it. Um, I got to invite you know to come. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing when that when that happens. So hopefully, I can make it out there and uh, <laughs> see it happen because I think it's a great honor for all of us to go out there as yeah, players. Yeah, it really it honors the '86 team. What yeah. I mean, Kevin, looking back, it so it's 14, 37 years ago, right? 23. What made that team special? You know, I mean, in, in your mind, different personalities, different kinds of people, you know, and what, what made it special in your mind? Of course, different, different personalities. It had, it, it was that. And we, it, we, we, we blended together, man, as a family. That's why I tell Doc Mim and, Str- and Straw, we was a family, you know, and that's why, Jay, I don't understand how I, I, I look at people that uh, players that we play with that's writing books. That's, that's pretty much, you know, uh, dogging each other, you know? They, yeah, I hear you. I you mean, know, and, and I, I don't, I don't get down like that. And then I tell Straw and them, I said, that's not a right way to, you know, we, we was in the trenches together the whole, we was like family, you know, and we don't dog family. Speaking of trenches, you know, um, it's different time in the game. Of, of the 86 Mets got hit as much as some current day players, we either had 97 fights on the field. It just, every time something comes up, I say, what would Mitch have done? What would Storr have done? I remember Bill Robinson getting into a fight. I mean, you know, I mean, it's just a different kind of, uh, you know, different kind of atmosphere, right? I mean, stuff like that. I mean, uh, we, they, they it really, really, the rest of the National League hated us, to be honest with you, right? I mean, we got into so many fights and, we were arrogant, but the thing is, we won on one or eight games. I tell people, Jay, all the time, man, we, we wasn't, uh, we wanted to win. No matter how we, once we stepped between the white line, we had that, we had a different focus. You know, if we had to win some type of way, if it was throwing, going from the shoulders or swinging that bat or pitching, 
You know, we wanted to win, and we did. One of my favorite highlights, I saw the film the other day, a July game in 86 in Cincinnati, uh, Eric Davis slid in to uh, Ray at third base, and all hell break loose. And I remember you were the first guy out there, Mitch. Well, you know what, man? If, if, if I, it, like I tell if when I got traded a lot, it's nothing personal. But once I put on that uniform, whoever teams I'm with, I'm with that team. I'm loyal. So I got to get out there and help my teammates. It's nothing personal. You know, if you get hit, you get hit. You know, it's nothing personal. You know, I, I got a different uniform on. So you're speaking to a lot of the guys through the years. You see, one of the biggest mistakes that we as an organization made was traded Kevin Mitchell after the 86 season. I mean, it was, it, we never really, I, I, I hear from the guys you brought a closeness, a family atmosphere to the team. It really wasn't the same after you left. I mean, was, it, was that hurtful to you when, it, when you got traded after that year? I did. It did because I, you know, during the World Series, I was talking to Wally back when he was like, Mitch, you're not going nowhere. And that year I went home after the World Series, I had the media at my house. And I was traded and it was just the way I was traded. Uh, it hurt for a little bit, but you know, I'm the type of man that I get over stuff real quick and I got to move, you know, you got to keep moving, Jay, you know, it's just, you know, it's business. You know, I had to learn that it was, it's a business. So. Okay. Can we dispel one rumor? It's been, I know you, it's been three years, game six of uh, 86 world series. Uh, uh, Wally makes it out. Keith makes it out. Gary gets a hit. The story goes that you were on your way to go home and leaving the ballpark, which I know is not true. Yeah. You just want to talk in that for a second? Yes. Uh, I mean, it was all good when we was younger, when they was talking about it. But but uh, that time, they said I was inside making my flight to go home. And right. you know good and well, Jay, as a rookie, we don't make our flights. You guys no question. Do. Yes. Come on. You yeah, go to travel. Right. Secretary makes the flights. Yeah, yeah. The the team makes the flights, so you know that wasn't right. So, but just to get get it cleared up, you know, it wasn't true. Uh, there's no way I was going home, and the rumor still sticks with me, Jay. You know, but it's all good though. Yeah. You know, well, God. the thing is, you know, G Gary got to hit, but if you don't get a hit right after Gary, there's no Mookie Wilson here heroic. So. How much pressure did you feel, Kevin, coming up? So we have a guy in first, two outs, bottom of the tenth. We're losing by two runs. Jay, what did you feel when you came to bat? You know, I, I I don't feel pressure, bro. You know where I came from, Jay. So, you know, pressure is having a gun to your head. The, playing baseball was fun to me, and it wasn't no pressure at all. You know, but you, 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 you get know. to hit, and you wind up going to third base. And you, I remember one time you told me when uh, – when when Ray was up, that buddy told you to buddy Harrison, in the third base coach told you to watch out for the wild pitcher, the bull in the dirt. Well, Stanley had came in for Chiraldi, remember? Right. And uh, first thing, buddy Harrison came up to me. He said, "Mitch, this guy bounces a lot of balls. Be be ready." And he he ended up bouncing a ball. Buddy called it. Buddy Harrison called it right there. And if he wouldn't have never said nothing to me, Jay, I wouldn't have never knew. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's not doing well. He's in a home. In yes, Long yes. I mean, you know, my yeah, prayers, just, my condolences to his family. Yeah, I mean, he's yeah. uh, he's the only man to have two World Series rings. He's got a ring, 69 as a player, and in, in, in 86 as a coach. So after 86, you move on to San Diego, then San Francisco. Kevin, well, how do you explain? That's not the right word. 89, um, MVP, 291 batting average, 47 bombs, 125 RBIs. MVP, All Star, Silver Slugger. What, 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 what caused the transformation, or was there a transformation? Well, you know, Jay, we don't, we don't. As a young kid, we don't get worse; we get better. You know, y'all gave me that chance to move on. Playing with good players like that, I played with. I told myself I can be a better player, and when I got over to San Francisco, I was dealing with Willie Mays and Dusty Baker. When I got when I got to San Diego, I was traded out of there within two and a half months. But when I left left out of San Diego, I was dealing with some of the I feel the best players I ever 
you know, Willie, Mays, Willie Mays is my idol. I was really happy last year we were able to retire his number. and, and Yeah, you know, I was Willie, there. Yeah, 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 I was there. Yeah, he's, he's a great man. You know, I just, trying to keep... I, I go and visit him sometime. And How's I he see... doing? Uh, How is he doing, Kevin? He's doing good, man. You know, Willie's, you know, Willie's strong. He think he's still thick as a bull, still talking crazy. Yeah, you know, um, he's he's doing all right. He's so he get, helped you. He helped you make the transition to. Yes, the, he did. The, yeah, I, I gotta put I gotta put my hands on on Dusty Baker and Willie Mays. They helped me out so much, and uh, Willie 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 took me under his wing and, and and just changed them bats in my hand. Went to a heavier bat instead of them light bats, and it changed my whole swing. Yeah, well, it was he was you know, actually my own. Ken, what do you remember about the '89 series, the 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 um, hurricane, not the uh, earthquake okay. series? Scary, you know. I mean, being a kid from California, it was just uh, never been in nothing like that. Really, that bad. We always talk about earthquakes in California, but that was real scary. That was especially when you uh, when you plan fix, fixing to play a game. Against the Oakland A's, and you remember where you were when when it got bad? Or, I, mean, I was talking to Tony Phillips. May he rest in peace. Yeah, former I was man. In that, you know how we run the line before the game. Yes, yeah. So I was out there talking to him, and I seen all the TVs blinking off in the in the stadium, and I didn't know what, what was going on. They was playing that song "We Will Rock You." Yeah, they and did. I, <laughs> I, I, yeah, it rocked. It, it definitely rocked, Jay. It definitely rocked, and. Um, I didn't know really what was going on until I got over to Willie Mays and Willie said the bridge just fell. We just had our wow, yeah, wow. Kevin, you had a great career. I mean, two eighty four batting average, two hundred thirty four home runs, seven hundred sixty R- RBIs. You got to be proud of what you accomplished, huh? No, I mean, I'm not Jay. Really, I'm not. Why do you say? I'm not. I I, I wasn't satisfied. But if I if I took care of myself better than what I did, I probably would have been continue to keep playing but i didn't and, and he wound up at japan for a little bit and the red sox and he went with the reds too he had a couple of now he had one pretty good year with the reds the strike year the yeah strike year. yeah i was having a good season there i was kevin, uh, probably up for triple crowns there yeah kevin i know you do you say you still do a work with kids in the area i know you do yes i am there. jay now that i'm I'm I'm, I'm 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 probably 90 Eight percent healthy, besides getting the legs, you know, done. I'm going to Atlanta here next week. They'll go have uh, it's called a, a procedure called a shock treatment. And what will that do for you, Kevin? It's supposed to trick the nerves in the in the calf. It's just my calf. That's all it is. My calf ended up getting atrophy from being paralyzed from going into atrophy for going into. Uh, you know, for being paralyzed from the neck down. So yeah, well, that was what, a couple of years ago when you were yeah. struggling a little bit, huh? I mean, yes. But are you still doing the work with the kids in the area? The I'm definitely am, man. And, and it's enjoyment for me. That's my passion, bro. That is yeah. my passion. I enjoy doing it. And uh, if I can volunteer my time at any any time when these kids need it, I'm there. Get, Kevin, how important was Davey to your career? You talked oh, about man. it a little bit. I mean, were you disappointed? I- in 84, you played eight games. You didn't come up at all in 85. You spent the whole year in Tidewater. I mean, was that a little disappointment to you? No, because, I, I, Jay, I didn't understand, you know. I didn't understand that. You know, I didn't understand the way they do the process. So playing baseball, wherever I was at, I enjoyed it. So I didn't understand getting there as soon as, like I did, was it didn't bother me. At all. Yeah, I mean, Davey had all the confidence in the world. You know, is there one favorite Daryl or Doc memory, Kevin? And you know, any game or home run or, I mean, you know, Daryl had the home run against Houston in the playoffs in the World Series, and 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 Doc, you know, with his strikeout games. Is there any one thing, you know, that sticks out in your mind? Just generally, okay. you're watching I just them gotta play. Say, every time they touched that field was exciting, because you knew something dramatic, just beautiful was going to happen with those two guys. You know, I hated when Doc pitched and I was in the outfield or in the infield because you wasn't getting no balls. Well, but, you know, 
and and you played next to Daryl a couple of times in the outfield. Did you run him off sometimes, or you let him take the balls? Oh no, I let Straw. He he, he can. He, if he called me off, he's got it. You know, cool. I mean, he's he's six six, six five, six yeah. six, <laughs> and yeah, I'm see, five yeah, eleven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but well, listen, Ken, you've been a good friend all these years, and. I hope you can make it back for one of the things, you know, it would be good to see you again. And, you know, I, I, it's good. Listen, I, I was just a kid out of college in 86 and you guys really made me feel belong. And, you know, I've been here a long time, but the 86 team was really something special for me with, I never knew what to expect when I went to the ballpark. One day, Mike Tyson could show up. Yeah. Another day we could have a fight in Cincinnati. Another day, <laughs> Bill Robinson, they Hojo and uh, Roger McDowell would give Bill Robinson a hot foot. Yeah, I mean, I mean, what the hell to expect? I mean that 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 team there, man. We that's how we 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 gel, man, because we played jokes on, you know, sawed off. Uh, uh, when we leave the air, we leave a t- we leave like the one time we left San Diego, they had me dressed. They cut my suit up. I had to walk through the airport with some high heels on and stuff like that. Yeah, man, Jay, we had I had so much fun with that team, and and. If every team had that type of fun, I remember yeah. when they made me get up at two o'clock in the morning, and you know the horse in uh, in Chicago. Yes, sir. Oh, I remember. They made me yeah. go up there and yes. take his scrotums. Yes. Then what time? But we did it in the nineties. Jason Isringhausen, I think, got arrested when we played the joke on him. Yeah, I think was something happened went wrong, and he actually got arrested for doing something to the. Uh, it was just this big tro- uh, horse, the big yeah. statue. Big painting it, yeah. Yeah, you know. the big horse statue that sits up like this. You got to yeah. climb up there and paint it the color of your teams. And yeah, and, and, it, and it got, well, what time Izzy got arrested? You don't remember about Chicago? Did you used to go to Ron's in Japan? No. That was Doc's favorite place. He used to order lobster appetizers. That's the, uh, the, the Chinese restaurant? The Japanese restaurant, yeah. Japanese yeah. restaurant by, by the Galleria. Yeah, yeah. I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. Yeah, but- I've been there. Mitch, you're a good man, man. You're always there. It's it's a lot of good memories talking, and I hope stay healthy, get your legs hey, fixed up. I just got to tell you, you're lovely, and like I always said, man, you showed me such a great time when I was well, there. It was, you know, it was and, a special uh, bond, and you guys, as a PR guy, you let me be part of the thing, and you know, and uh, it was something I'll never forget. You know, the way we did it, and shocked the world coming back when we did so. A lot of a lot of good memories, especially. Jay, you're a part of our life, man. Yeah, me too, Mitch. Me Come too, on, Kevin. man. You're a part of our life, man, and always well, gonna be till the wheels fall off. You well, know, don't let the wheels fall for a while, man. I'm yeah, we're gonna keep going to the casket drop. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's not that soon, Mitch. No. You know. 